Hello everybody, welcome to a scratch tutorial. Today we will be making a cookie clicker game. A, co a very cookie clicker related game. Now, the first thing you'll do is paint on your sprite and we'll make it a brown circle. And so make yourself a brown circle and then and then click on this little rainbow plot here and then make it a bit dark and then, and then try and find a nice little chocolatey brown I feel this will do and then just do and then um and then like come on hang on a sec um, why is it not so called aha right and then just put some little um chocolate chips in and you'll have made your cookie. Now, this, this looks a bit small in this stage over here. So get the enlarging tool and we'll have to click it as if you're playing cooking clicker already. And um, and then simply drag the cookie into the center. Now, this is entirely optional. You can go to backdrops and then and then click and then click on choose backdrop from the library and there is one simply entitled rays now this um this um if you go into backdrops um and then and then you fill um little gaps in be between the um if you fill the gaps in between the um between the lines in, then then you kind of get a cookie clicker type background. Like so, if you do that, and then you guess like the bridge color, and then fill all the gray lines in, then you've got then you've got kind of cookie clicker background. But we're not going to do do that today. So um so what I want to do is we want to go um and create and create a a variable called cookies cookies and and now we have this now what we do is we go into events when the sprite clicked um change cookies by one now you can you can drag this over here and then double click on it uh, and then and then by simply clicking on the cookie you can see we get a cookie now, we could just start playing and call it a day, but what, what if I want to reset my progress? Well, I can just do when, when space key first, um, 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 set cookies to zero. But, but we don't want space, we can, we can do R for reset, um, and then... So, so now I can click it. I can click the cookie a few times, and if you feel not happy with that, I can press R, and it all goes away. Now we're not just going to stop there, though. Upgrades. Every good cookie clicker clone needs some form of upgrades. So let's create ourselves a new um. Right. Um. Well. Um. What we'll call the sprite. We'll, we'll make. Um. We'll. we'll make, we don't need this. We'll play that. And then. Um. And then painting yourself a cursor. Um. Right, um. See, the good thing is this is an absolute pixelated, and I'll, and I'll explain why in a second. And then get the fill tool and fill that in. And now what you want to do is you want to get this and you want to do one space key pressed um um what was I where is it um change change um pixel at five twenty five now if we press the space key a few times this you can see that it's pixelated a few if if you're not happy with that, can you just right click? Um, don't 
after that, right click, delete, and simply try again. So I'll jump up to when I've got a good cursor. Alright, I have a good, um, I have a good cursor, as you can see up here, and I want to get, um, some coding for this. Now, what, what you want to do is, when the sprite clicked, um, um, if then, then so go into operators, go into the green operator section, and then do, and then go into data and drag those cookies into here. So what? So if cookies are more than um fourteen, um fourteen, then um then then um then change cookies by minus 15 minus 1.5 um and then forever um um wait uh, um wait wait um let's do um Wait one second and then change cookies by zero point five and then do zero point five and now you can see that the that if you click on the cursor you can see nothing happens. Um and the if our cookies are equal to fifteen a cookies go all the way back down and, and we get cookies. How nice is that? And now, and now you see, this this isn't very complicated code here. So all you really have to do is just keep doing it and doing it and doing it and doing it over and over and over again except for different things like for the grandma you, you, d you change this to 99 make that 100 make that five seconds and then maybe do something like five there so yes this is a tutorial on how to make a um cookie clicker type game in scratch and oh before i go i, I should know that the if you the if you have more than fifteen things but you click on the cursor again, nothing no it doesn't affect um anything apart from the amount of cookies you have. So you can't buy the upgrade multiple times. I probably will come back to this tutorial at one point and redo it so so that this can be so the action can be performed, but for now you're stuck you're stuck with my little rubbish tutorial here. So anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial, I hope you found it helpful, and I shall see you guys in the next episode. Bye!